Good morning, family. I hope all is well. I pray that everyone is staying safe, taking taking the necessary safety precautions to stay safe. Um, <clears throat> I pray that everybody's still remaining connected to God, connected in prayer, fasting, reading, studying, fasting. I think I said fasting. Um, I pray that all is well overall, mental health, physical health, um, spiritual health. I pray that everyone is doing just just fine um, right now during these times. <clears throat> I know that um, this year is a little different for us as far as the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, you know, we're not able to gather together as family. Um, so I pray that everyone just makes the best of it this year. And um, maybe we can do like a Zoom on Thanksgiving Day, check in with everybody. Um, if anybody is interested, let me up. Hit me up and let me know. I'll try to put something together. Um, but hit me up before time, before Thanksgiving Day, because I have to um, prepare for it and put it together. We can either do Zoom or Google Meets. I think you have to have a Gmail account to do Google Meets. Um, Gmail account, I think. Um, but with Zoom, you don't have to have an account. The only thing with Zoom is that um, it, don't, it cuts off after a certain amount of time. But with Google Meets, um, it doesn't. So just hit me up and let me know. Um, other than that, I'm still working from home. Um, Justin is still um, doing homeschooling. My family is great. Fine. Maya's still going to GMC. She's not. She's actually going to the class. She's going in classrooms. Um, but Maya's still in GMC. GMC um, and me and Sean are still working. He's... Um, you know, he never did work from home. He's working. Um, he's going into work every day. Um, overall, um, we're doing we're doing pretty fairly well. Uh, I just wanted to touch bases with you, um, give you some encouraging words, um, making sure I kind of want to talk a little bit today about making sure that you're um, living right, that you are living righteously for God and not just in front of others, but behind closed doors. Um, sometimes we have a tendency to um, live a certain way in front of people. And then behind closed doors, we are a whole nother person. And if you are living righteously for God, you know, if you're holy and, and as we should be, um, behind closed doors, you should be the same. Don't, you know, you, you shouldn't be living godly in front of everybody else, but behind closed doors, you raise in hell. No, um, you know, and again, you know, I always try to make sure that I remain humble. Um, I'm just here to encourage people. That's what God has placed upon my heart to do. I do. I do not think that I'm better than anyone, nor do I think that I know a whole lot or anything like that. <clears throat> I am still a work in progress. I am still growing in Christ. I am still growing in my word. I am still learning and I am still teachable. Um, and I'm open, you know, to, to hear and listen. Um, but God placed it on my heart to encourage others as well. And so that's what I'm here to do. I fall short. We all fall short daily. And that's where repentance come in. I'm not perfect by far. I do make mistakes, but I try my best to strive to live for God, to live righteously before him in front of others and behind closed doors. Um, I don't want to come off as I'm doing one thing and saying one thing and then behind closed doors, I'm a whole totally different person. And so I just encourage people to live righteously before God. Um, don't always think you so holier than thou, you know. Um, <clears throat> sometimes that runs people away um, because they feel, because it makes people feel like they can't make any mistakes or that they're, they're, we're all human and we make mistakes. You know, but we is we have to learn from our mistakes and when we have to repent of our mistakes and make sure that we don't um, do it again, do it twice, make the same mistake twice. So I just want to um, encourage people to um, pay attention to the fruits that you're bearing. I really, uh, I was reading something the other day and it was saying that really instead of concentrating on the type of fruits that you're bearing, if you're connected to God, those fruits are going fruits are going to bear naturally. If you're if you're reading and you're staying in his word and you're praying and you're having a connection with God, those fruits are going to show naturally. 
you know, and you don't, you don't have to really just focus on, oh, am I doing this or am I doing that? It, it's just going to come naturally. It's going to come. It's, your character is going to show naturally. So I just want to encourage you all today to keep striving and keep pushing. I know we're in this pandemic. I know that they're saying that the numbers are going up and things are getting worse, but we're just going to remain positive. We're going to remain in prayer. Um, we're going to take the necessary precautions to stay safe. Um, do what it takes. Um, if you are feeling sick, again, I think I've mentioned this before, um, don't go around people and, and make sure that you wear your mask. Make sure that if you're feeling sick, get tested or, you know, if you're feeling that sick, you know, cause sometimes you can feel sick, you know, and you might know that, okay, I just got a headache or it's my sinuses or something like that. Um, but you know, if you have these, um, um, symptoms, you know, and you know that, well, I normally don't get sick and it's kind of strange and, you know, you might, you may want to get tested. But, um, again, I just want to kind of touch back on making sure that, um, you know, we're living righteously for God, making sure that we're not in the world. You know, we, we live in the world, but you know, we don't, we don't want to be of the world because if you are a friend of the world, you are enemy of God. Um, remember that. So, uh, it says that in scripture. I can't remember exactly what scripture, but it's in there. Um, I have to get back with you to let you know exactly where it came from. I do apologize for that. But overall, um, let's make sure that we're not going with what the world says. Like the world saying this is right, that this is right. That, you know, we can't go against God's word. You cannot go against God's word. You can't say you live for God and then you go, you're going against his word. You know, um, I was reading and it just left my mind. It'll come back to me. But, you know, you don't want to go and say that, oh, I believe in God. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, I, I was listening to something the other day and it said that you can't claim to know God if you don't know his word. And that was so profound to me. You can't walk around saying you know God and you've never picked up your Bible. You've never picked up your Bible. You have never read scripture or you go to church every Sunday and all you do is listen to the pastor and the preacher, but you're not actually reading and studying yourself. Study to show yourself approved. Um, I'm not saying that all pastors or, you know, are wrong or anything like that, but Sometimes you got to be careful with listening to, to pastors too because they can say something that's kind of off target. And if you don't know your word and you don't know the word for yourself, you're not going to know that they're off target. You're going to just agree with what they say or go along with what they say. And that's why you are to study to show yourself approved so you can learn the Bible for yourself. Make sure that you um, are attending a local Bible study or what have you. My church do Bible study every Tuesday night at 6.30 on Zoom. If you would love to join and be a part of that, then I would give you the, I would share the link. I have no problem sharing the link. It's every Tuesday night at 6.30 via Zoom right now. And so if you feel like you want to feel free to join in and, and learn God's word, um, you don't have to have your camera on. You just have to make sure that your microphone is muted. Um, <clears throat> other than that, um, I just want to make sure that we're staying encouraged, that we're staying positive and that, you know, you are picking up your word and you're actually reading it for yourself. If you don't understand, pray for understanding and God will lead you. He will, he will, he will take the blinders off for your eyes. He will give you understanding on what you're reading. You just have to pray and ask for it. So, um, I don't want to hold you too long. I just want to continue to give you encouragement during this time. And I pray that you all are loving each other, loving on each other. Just, um, taking this time to spend with God and seek him like never before. And I also pray that you're taking this time to spend with family members and everything, you know, and be intentional. Be intentional about your walk with Christ. Make sure you're prioritizing and putting him first. First thing in the morning when you get up, pray, praise God, sing, read, whatever it is. If that is one of the most best ways to start your day off every single morning. Make sure that you are spending that time with God in the morning. It will really, and then if some stuff come your way throughout the rest of the day, you know, God will guide you through. You know, I find for me personally, when I don't, if I get up, and just so happen to get up late and I'm rushed to do something and I don't spend that time, my day be kind of all out of whack. 
And so, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't read this morning. I didn't pray this morning. And, and I, I can tell the difference. So, you know, just make sure that you spend that time with him. Um, first thing in the morning, make sure that you're living right. Um, as best as you can following, um, living Christ like, and that's, um, um, in public and behind closed doors. Don't be holier than thou in, in public and then behind closed doors, raising hell. Um, make sure that you, um, just continue to study and read your word. I pray for you all, um, that everything is, um, going well again and that everybody is staying safe again i love you all and again if y'all want to get together for zoom thanksgiving hit me up um sometime this week let me know and i'll try my best to put something together i may need somebody's help and i love you all and stay safe and stay prayed up god bless you all